Hello, welcome to Scrap Time, episode 531. My name is Christine, and on today's episode, I am showing you the GCD Studios Chip Art Tool. Today, I'm going to be showing you the Chip Art Collection by Melody Ross for GCD Studios. And here we have the mallet. You need a mallet. This is uh, the tool to put your stamps on. They have a water bottle. And then this major stamping block here. It's like a good thick one inch heavy duty stamping block. So you do not ruin your table. Here are some of the stamps you can get for the chip art. This is the Sparrow quarter inch uppercase alphabet. There's some lowercase alphabets and a, another uh, set as well. And I love the tins that the alphabets come in. They're really great. And then this is some, this is some mini shapes, the blooms and bird stamps as well. And there are other ones. There's quite a few available. And here are some of the chipboard pieces they have. This is a journal kit, butterflies, and small frames. Now I'm going to show you how the chip art tool works. Uh, we start with our piece of chipboard that we're going to be uh, working on. And what I'm planning on doing is putting Gemma's name along the bottom and then some designs around the edge. And then I could put this on a layout later with her picture inside or that. So I'm starting with my alphabet little metal stamps. And I have her name here. So what I'm going to do, Gemma has five letters and the M is the middle. So I'm going to put the M there. So it gives me some idea where um, it's going to land. Then I have the E I'm going to put on. And then the G. Now, because I only have one M, I just took another letter just to hold its spot. And then the A. Oops. And by doing this, I can position it. For one, I can see, yes, my word is going to fit there. And I can position it sort of where I want it to work. So that gives me some idea of what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take these off. And now I have to, with my water, spray it because you need to get it wet. So when I do this, I want to make sure my letters are the right way. I put it just on my tool like this. So I have my M. I place it in the middle and I'm going to hit it about four times. And then there is my M. Since my M is already on here, I'm going to move it beside. Do it again. Another M. These just snap on and off very easily. I'm going to do my A. Going to do my E now. That one was really deep. And my G. Now, here you can see now my A was a little awkward or that. To me, that's fine. If you really want to keep it all in lined up, you can put these on and keep them sort of in place while you do it if to help keep it straight. But I find they move a bit, so I sort of like it not being perfect, perfect. So I'm just going to wipe the water off here. Now I'm going to put some designs around there. So I have all of these little designs. And after working with it, I have some larger designs as well. But um, I like to work with these little designs, I personally find. So again, they just snap very easily on and off. I'm going to now spray over there. And then randomly hit these.
you can see how quick it is I'm just going around putting these on and um, making designs I think I'll do one more shape So from here, I would paint it and I would paint a base layer in and then just with a dry brush, put some uh, color over top. And I have some already done to show you. Here I had stamped in love and then I did a bunch of little designs around this piece here. I used red first to put all the colors inside and then just some colors on top, whereas here I used the uh, yellow in the word love and then some colors. Here I did love again. I did it just because it's four letters, it's easy. But then here I put a little flower in each of the scallop to show you can do that. In some of the cases I got a bit of color inside but again this I find that the chip art tool is to give you an artistic uh, little uh, look to your projects so I wasn't too concerned that it was all crisp and perfect that wasn't really what I was going for with it I think it's more that a bit of like miss flaw, flaws for lack of a better word I think gives it more character And then here I did the cover of what I'm going to use for a little inspiration journal or art journal. And all along it I said, what will I create today? What will I create today? And then I painted it. And then on the butterfly it says, be free. And I just put random designs all around the butterfly. So you can see what a really interesting uh, look it makes for your projects. Well, that's it for today's episode. Be sure to check out our website at www.scraptime.ca. And on our next episode, I'm showing you how to make some flowers out of paper towels. So please join us. Thanks for watching Scrap Time.